Take Two Interactive had a conference call, and guys, I'm going to share everything that's important that happened in that conference call. Talking about new games, talking about new adventures that Rockstar Games is going to be doing for 2023, talking about all that stuff and more. So let's get right into it. Take Two Interactive had a conference call today, and let me tell you guys, Rockstar Games is taking a massive L in 2023 now if you guys want to read about the uh, conference all you got to do is go to the header up here and you can read about it or, or you can find the audio about it let's get into the parts that actually matter okay all right rockstar games guys check this out throughout the period rockstar games continue to support grand theft auto online with new gameplay additions and vehicles as well as weekly rewards bonuses and special seasoned events on July 26, released the Criminal Enterprises, a sweeping update bringing new business prospects for criminal careers, elaborate new contact missions, vehicle enhancements, and other upgrades. Players are now able to conduct, source, and sell missions at their own pace or with their friends within invite-only lobbies and other highly requested experience improvements. Payouts were also increased across a range of gameplay, giving players more freedom and choice in how they climb the criminal ranks. Through the GTA Plus membership program, enrolled members enjoyed new and exclusive benefits, including free vehicles, discounts, bonus shark card cash and more guys in the comments if you are a gta plus member let us know and let me know how you enjoyed those benefits did you enjoy that bonus shark card cash did you enjoy that how about those awesome exclusive rewards of clothing that's been on pc since jump street let me know how much you enjoy that gta plus membership because i guarantee the comments are going to be absolutely Positive. I can't wait. Rockstar Games continue to support Red Dead Online with a range of outfits, bonuses, and rewards. <laughs> Bullshit. What? What? <laughs> Bullshit. Oh, what? Rockstar Games, they continue to support shit. Guys, in the comments, if you're an RDR fan, Red Dead Online fan, put down in the comments and let's send this video to Rockstar Games or Take Two Interactive because this conference call sounds like bullshit to me. I'm not going to lie. Bullshit. Let me know in the comments if I'm lying. Guys, if you're new, drop a sub, hit the like button, share this out to the masses, and ding those bells. Let's get down to it. There's got to be a new game release, GTA 6 something, right? Let's find out. To mark the 10-year anniversary of Max Payne 3, on May 13th, Rockstar Games announced Max Payne 3, the official soundtrack anniversary edition. A new version of the iconic soundtrack coming later this year to digital streaming platforms and limited edition vinyl featuring the evocative music of LA Noise band Health. Max Payne 3, the official soundtrack anniversary edition, also de debuts previously unreleased tracks from the game. So, we're not getting Max Payne 3 remastered. We're not getting GTA 4 remastered. We're not getting Red Dead remastered. We're getting a fucking soundtrack. A sound a, a soundtrack by Circle Jerk Records. Oh my, are you kidding me, bro? This was the conference call for Rockstar Games. Bro, I'm looking down and I'm looking at 2K and I'm not going to lie they got a bigger report than you do, guys. Like, this this is all Rockstar right here, bro. This is it. This is their big fucking plan, a, a soundtrack to a 10-year-old game. Oh, my. We're, we're doomed. We're doomed. But, guys, there's got to be a game coming out from Rockstar, right? There's got to be a game. Let's get to where they have the game releases. There's got to be a game coming out, bro. There's got to be. All right, these are all the games that were released. All right. Oh, the future lineup. Okay, awesome. For 2023, let's see what we got. Roller Dome, uh, 2K23. Where's Rockstar? Oh, there's Rockstar. What's the game? 
Grand Theft Auto, the Trilogy Definitive Edition mobile release on iOS and Android 2023. That's it. That's the only game coming out in 2023, bro. Rockstar Games, GTA, the Trilogy Definitive Edition mobile release. I give up. I give up. I give up. Guys, I give up. I give up. I don't know what you want me to do. This is the news. I can't I can't fabricate. This is it. This is it. Oh my god. Soundtrack in a mobile release from Rockstar Games from three games that were like 20 goddamn years old. And the definitive edition sucked on goddamn PlayStation. It was terrible. Oh my god. Oh my god. Guys, if you agree with me, I want to see the comments. Blast these comments, bro, and share this out to Rockstar Games. Put this on Twitter. Share it out to Rockstar Games. They need to see this, bro. They ought to be ashamed of themselves. Look at all the releases 2K's dropping. Boom, 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 boom. Rockstar. Bro. Bro. Even the private division has more stuff. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Guys, drop a comment. If you guys like this video, leave a like. If you're new, drop a sub. And don't forget to ding those bells. We're on the road to 100K. Let's go! Let's go, let's go. Until then, I am Jack Knight Finnegan. I will see you on the next video or the next live stream. I'm out of here. Peace!